Hi, sweethearts. I am coming today to talk to you a little bit about Sulfa Street, hoping that you will remember some of this that we did in music class. So let's review. If you remember, on Sulfa Street, the first person to move in, if you look kind of in the middle there at that red house, the for sale sign is gone. The first person to move in on the street was so. And I said that so walked around the street all day long and it was really, really boring. And it sounded like this all day because he lived all by himself and nobody else was there. That would be boring, right? So luckily after so, there, <laughs> after so moved in, then another person moved in and that person was me. So after so there was me. So was very happy because it wasn't so boring. If so wants to go visit her friend me, then how far? Do you remember how far that is? What is the distance from so to me? And we're talking about your vocal distance, really. But you can look at it, too. We're skipping a house in the middle, right? So our voice is going a skip. So to me is a skip. Let's get back. So to me is a skip. Okay. And then all the songs you sang in kindergarten were so on me. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Um, what else did you sing? Rain, rain, go away. And then after rain, rain, go away, we had come again. So the next person to move in on your street, if you look, the sign disappears. And we have this house disappears and we have law. So, so to me is a skip, so to law. How far is so to law? Do you remember? Did you say step? You are correct. It is a step. So to law is a step. So um, what if me wants to go visit law? If me wants to go visit law, how far is that? Do you know? Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. And then we have, um, I don't remember. I just lost my train of thought. It's hard not having you in front of me. Okay, well, me to law, the distance is called a leap. So your voice goes a little bit farther, right? So me lo, me lo. It goes a little bit farther. Okay. Then we did um, apple tree. Apple tree, apple tree. Will your apple fall on me? I won't cry. I won't shout. If your apple knocks me out, knocks me out. It goes really low, right? Or lower. So that is the hint for the next person that moves in, which is dough. We go, so, so dough, so, so dough. And if you look at that, what is the distance from so to dough? The distance from so to dough is bigger than a leap. So what would that be? It's a jump. Good job. I know you said it. Okay, then we did a lot of singing about Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. If we start on me, we're singing me, hmm, do, me, hmm, do, 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 hmm, 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 me, hmm, do. So that means there's something right in between me and do. That's the next person that moves in. And that next person that moves in, I know you know it, is Ray. So we have me, Ray, do, do to Ray is a step, Ray to me is a step, do to me is a skip, me to so is a skip, so to la is a step, so so do is a jump, right? Okay, and then, I think that that's all we're going to talk about for this video for today. So, um, 
No, there's not. There's one more thing. Check it out. We have do re mi so lo la so mi re do. Try it with your hand signs. Do re mi so lo la so mi re do. Okay, those five pitches are a scale. We just sing a scale up and down. So five pitches in a scale, does anyone remember what that's called? What, here's your hint. What do we call a shape with five sides? What? Did you say a pentagon? You are right. A pentagon is a shape with five sides. So if we're talking about a tone, then we call it the pentatone. And it would be called the pentatonic scale, which means five tones. And that's why the group, the pentatonics, is called the pentatonics because there's five singers. So pretty cool, right? Okay, go sing some more of your scales together. Mwah. Talk to you soon.